Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Today I wanted to show you how to do a Newton's Law of Cooling calculus problem. And the reason I wanted to show you how to do this is because it is one of the formulas on my integral calculus cheat sheet or my calculus two study guide that I came out with recently. There's a link down in the description and in the pinned comment below if you want to check that out. Just go grab that real quick, come back over here, I'll show you exactly how to use that formula with this example that we're going to do here today. So I'm not going to waste a ton of time, let's just jump right into the problem here. So this is the problem that we're going to be doing. A roast turkey is taken from an oven when its temperature has reached 185 degrees and is placed on a table in a room where the, the temperature is 75 degrees. We have two part question here. Part A is if the temperature of the turkey is 150 degrees after half an hour, what is the temperature after 45 minutes? And then part B, when will the turkey have cooled to 100 degrees Fahrenheit? And I've already gone ahead and jotted down the formula from my calculus two study guide that I mentioned. That is the formula for Newton's law of cooling. So this formula DT DT, obviously we have a capital T and a lowercase t here. The big T is the temperature of the object. So in this case, the temperature of the turkey. And then the little t is the time that has passed. So, you know, how long it's been basically since it was taken out of the oven. Uh, then we have this constant k, which is an unknown constant we're going to have to figure out. And then we have this ts, which represents the temperature of the surroundings. So we know that this turkey is placed in a room that has a temperature of 75 degrees. So 75 is going to be our ts here. So right off the bat, we can pretty much go ahead and plug 75 in for ts, and then we can go from there. So like I said, this K is an unknown constant we're going to have to solve for. Um, basically what we want to do is we want to use this Newton's law of cooling formula along with kind of the exponential growth and decay formula that is also on my integral calculus cheat sheet. Um, kind of use those two things together to create a function which tells us the temperature of this turkey at time T. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say that uh, the, the T in this case represents hours after it was taken out of the oven. So, you know, these, these measures of half an hour or 45 minutes is just going to be, you know, 0 0.5 T, 0 0.5 hours or 0 0.75 hours for 45 minutes. So kind of the, the idea here, what we want to start off by doing is we're going to create a new variable. We're going to introduce our own variable and we're going to say Y. And we're going to make y whatever this is, t minus 75 in this case. And the reason we're going to do that is because what we can do now is we can plug this back into this equation and basically change our t to be uh, a y. So what that tells us is that we can rewrite this differential equation that we have here as dy dt equals k times y. And now this is going to give us a little bit simpler differential equation, but the other piece we need to kind of keep in mind is our initial condition, right? We do know how, how hot this turkey is right when it comes out of the oven when T is zero. So right when it comes out, that's when T is zero, it's 185 degrees. So what that tells us is if we have, uh, you know, our, our function of the temperature of the turkey at time zero is 185 degrees. So what we also need to do now is figure out what y of zero is, figure out what our initial condition in this new differential equation that we're doing is going to be. Well, we want to keep in mind that when t, when the temperature is 185, we have to use this equation to figure out what is y at that point. So basically we would have to do 185 minus 75, which would give us 110. So now we basically have this new initial value problem. We have dy dt equals k times y, and then we have our initial condition when when t is 0, y is 110. So what we can do now is use this with our exponential growth and decay formula to create a function that tells us this and then we can easily use that function to figure out uh, basically part a and b. And the reason why this works so well is we know for exponential growth and decay if we have an initial value problem that looks exactly like this we know right off the bat that our function y of t is going to look something like this, where we have our initial value, so our initial y value, which is 110, times e to the k times t. So we know that our function is going to look something like this. And basically what we need to do is use the fact that the temperature of the turkey is 150 degrees after half an hour to figure out what our k is. So when t is 0 0.5, right, half of an hour, the temperature is 150. So what we also need to figure out then is if the temperature is 150, what is y at that point? Well, that would just be 150 minus 75, 
which is 75. So basically the other kind of point we know is when, when t is 0 0.5, our y, like I just said, was 75. So what we can do is use this point in this function to, f to solve for k. So doing that, we would put 0 0.5 in for t, 75 in for y, so we'd get 75 equals 110 times e to the k times 0 0.5. And then we just solve for k. So we would divide 110 over. And then take the natural log of both sides, which would cancel our e. So we would get natural log of 75 over 110 equals k times 0 0.5. And then we could divide both sides by 0 0.5, which dividing by 0 0.5 is the same as multiplying by 2, right? So that would just give us k equals 2 times natural log of 75 over 110. We could keep that in exact form. We could plug that into a calculator and get an estimate for what that K is. Either way, it's not really gonna make a difference, but what we can do is plug that in back into our function here. So what that tells us is we have Y of T equals 110 times E to the two natural log of 75 over 110 times T. So this is our function that tells us the, the y value, not the temperature, but the y value of corresponding to whatever time t we plug in. So what we can then do is now convert this back to be a, an equation for temperature, right? Because all we have to do to get from our y to our temperature is add 75, right? y plus 75 would give us t. So if we just take the temperature equation, we just have to add 75 to this. So now this gives us an equation for the temperature of our turkey at time t. And we can use this to figure out the temperature after 45 minutes. And then we can use the same equation to figure out how long it takes for the temperature to get down to 100 degrees. So to figure out the temperature at 45 minutes, we just have to plug in 0 0.75 for T. So we would get 75 plus 110 E to the 2 times natural log of 75 over 110 times 0 0.75. And plugging that into a calculator would give us that it would take about or not that it would take about, that the temperature would be about 136.93 degrees after 45 minutes. So now that's gonna be the solution to part A. For part B, what we have to do is we're gonna be putting in 100 degrees for the temperature. So we're gonna take 100 equals 75 plus 110 E to the two natural log of 75 over 110 times T, and what we have to do is solve for T. So to solve for this T, we would minus 75 over, that would give us 25 equals all this. Then divide by 110. Then take the natural log of both sides that would cancel the E and bring this power down to not be in the power anymore. And then we could divide both sides by two natural log of 75 over 110. And that would give us T equals, we have to divide that over here also. So this would be our T. If we plug that into a calculator, we would figure out that it would take about 1.93 hours for the turkey to get down to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So that will be our answer for part B. So if you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit that like button down below, hit the subscribe button and that bell icon so you can join the Jake's Math Lessons community. Keep coming back for more videos and together we'll keep crushing it all term, get you better grades in your calc class. Thanks and see you next time.